For two years, I chased Chris Sykes to join the board. And I chased her, and I chased her, and I chased her. And I went through more shoes than just these. To be honest, I thought Chris was a member of the administration. She was here so much. Um, she knew everybody. And uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to learn if Chris let Dennis Holland in uh, every morning at, into the front door of the school. So I have three wives, right? I have Linda, I have my golf wife, Dana, and I have my board wife, Chris. I could never have done what I've been able to do as a chair or hope to be able to do with a chair without Chris sitting there beside me, nor, perfectly honestly, do I want to. Chris Sykes is definitely a convener and definitely understands building community and she does it in so many different ways. She really knew the pulse of Dairy Field. She genuinely wanted to bring people in. She wanted people to feel a part of the community. And that was step one. And then once you felt a part of the community, then contributing to the community in whatever way became a very natural thing. And she was just the best at it because it came from her heart. It always amazed me how much time and effort she could put into it and how she could get people to come together and work together for the same common goal, which is to move Dairyfield forward. At the same time that they give these important, significant gifts to the annual fund and to the campaign that are really going to transform the school, they also have this real deep empathy for people one-on-one -on -one and in real life. Not only is she personally a, a generous person, and I admired for all the years that Molly was in the school how Molly was a generous person. So it was a part of their family DNA. And you couldn't be in Chris's company for very long that you didn't find that you had a generous side as well. And they give back in so many different ways besides the monetary contributions that they give that really sets this bar at how Dairyfield looks at philanthropy and how families should look at philanthropy. They feel a responsibility to give back. And the giving back is because of what they received in Molly's education here and the success that Chris and Michael have seen in other students that they have supported here. The psychuses understand that connection between the students and the giving so deeply. I'm grateful to Dairyfield for teaching me how to love learning. Just the experiences that Dairyfield has provided and the open-mindedness that the people have. The atmosphere at Dairyfield is unlike any other I've ever seen. All the different opportunities Dairyfield has given me, all my teachers for helping me out, I think I would be a totally different person if I didn't come here. It's actually made me enjoy school, opposed to when I used to didn't. All the teachers that always have my back, they've made me feel like I can strive for things I never thought I'd be able to strive for. How much fun the kids bring to class every day. Like, in their ideal world, all they want to do is laugh and have a good time. And in my ideal world, all we want to do is work hard. And I'm kind of grateful that we find something in the middle. My friends at Dairyfield, because when I'm having a bad day, they're always there to pick me up. The teachers I've had who've taught me so much about being a student and they've taught me how to learn and now I really enjoy school. I don't know, I just like it because it's like a big like open environment and everybody kind of accepts you for who you are. Chris, thank you from my heart. You have done so much for this school and for all of the people around you. Congratulations, Chris and Mike. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you, Michael and Chris, for all of your years of commitment to Dairyfield. You are um, loved by all and appreciated by many. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Michael, for all of your support for Dairyfield. Chris, I love how embarrassed you are right now that we're all thanking you, but let me give you the biggest thank you of all. I can tell you that there's no one I'd rather be stranded in the middle of Lake Winnipesaukee with than Chris and Michael Sykes. Have a great night. This is almost her 15th year on the board, which is really not what the bylaws say, but when it comes to Chris, who cares what the bylaws say, right? Exactly.